And while driving through this country, we discovered so many awesome sights. There are huge belts of sand dunes with cathedral dunes that are really, really high. And it's just a magnificent thing to see. At some sections, you really need the bike's sentient power to send you up those over 150 meter high sand dunes. Welcome to my new video guys. Today I'm really excited because I'm taking you to one of my favorite countries in the world. That's Morocco. Morocco is the gateway to the Sahara Desert, which means you have the, some of the best off-road riding in the world. And also it has a very long uh, coastline, which offers world-class surfing, beautiful beaches, and the people are super nice, the food culture, everything is just on top. I visited this amazing country many, many times. And this time I grabbed a bunch of friends. We flew over and just rented the, the dirt bikes from a local operator. And then we set off in the old tracks from the Dakar rally. And this will take you about a week to follow those tracks through the mountains and through the deserts and uh, it's really an adventure of a lifetime. The bikes that we rented were the KTM 450s and that is a perfect bike because it's very very light but yet it has a very powerful engine and uh, this is perfect for, for, for the mountains for example it's going to be very technical and then you will come out on the massive moon-like environments where it's just flat for many many kilometers and there you, you can reach speeds of up to 160 kilometers an hour and then also when you reach the sand dunes you also need this light bike to to manage to um, get up those enormous hills One of the best things about a trip like this is that you really develop as a rider. No matter what level you're on, like the first time you're standing in front of a 150 meter high sand dune, it's just a wall of sand. And spontaneously your brain is screaming, this is impo physically impossible to climb on a motorcycle. And then you go back, pick up some speed for a couple of hundred meters. And when you feel the bike sending you up this wall of sand, it's an incredible feeling. I can't really describe it. And it's also super scary the first couple of times, but it's, I love it. It's one of my best motorcycle moments in my life. spend all day riding off-road 
there's always some dangers involved to it. Um, one being the lack of concentration. We are out in baking desert heat. If you're not hydrated or keep your sugar levels on top, you can begin to make mistakes. If you're out on those massive gravel flats doing 150 k's an hour, suddenly a dried out small river bed is crossing your path and you really need to step on your brakes and be alerted and also be if you're the first one you really need to warn all your friends as well also when riding sand dunes as i said earlier you need a lot of speed and momentum to make it all the way up to the top but you don't want to overshoot the top if you don't stop at the right spot you will go over the top and have a free fall and you will go over your handlebar All the struggles and the crashes aside, everybody was fine. I broke a couple of ribs on my last fall, but I was also riding way out of my comfort zone. And a week out in the desert, it flies by really, really fast. And you really have a sense of achievement when you come back to your hotel every evening. Because normally you will find these traditional Caspa hotels in the middle of the desert and you have the awesome food waiting for you and sometimes even swimming pools it's a it's a really nice leverage to to all the heat and the sweats that you've been taking all day and the last couple of days me and my friends we just explored morocco we went into the cities checked out the bazaars met the people and really dove into the culture like you're supposed to do when you visit a new country Another very interesting thing about traveling in Morocco is that you will find old movie sets scattered all over the country uh, with major movies such as Star Wars and Black Hawk Down for example and the sets are still left out there to decompose. Very interesting to go around and discover these places. Alright guys, this was my experience from Morocco. And if you are planning yours, don't hesitate to get in touch with me and I will give you some advice and the best contacts. You can even bring your whole family and rent a 4x4 if you don't want to ride a motorcycle. Either way, Morocco always has a special place in my heart. It's a place where I go to recharge my energy and just have a great time. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, hit the subscribe button and leave your comments below 